Okay, so both of these are, con are probability problems. And on this one it says, what is the probability of getting a sum greater than 8 when two, are, two die are rolled and the results added? So um, the first thing you have to remember is when you do probability, there's two ways to do probability. One is you got two separate events. Well, this, these events are not separate because if you roll a 3 on the first, then you have to roll a 5 on the second. And it's very confusing. So on this one, you have to use the definition of probability, which is the probability of something is always equal to the uh, positive outcomes over the possible. Well, if you roll two dice, there are always going to be 36 possible outcomes. And so we know that when we do our probability of this happening, which would be sum greater than 8, we know it's going to be over 36. Like there are 36 possibilities. 6 times 6 is 36. you got 6 numbers you can get on the first die, 6 numbers you can get on the second nine die, multiply those together, and you get 36. Okay, if I want a sum greater than 8, then that, that means it would be a sum of 9. Well, a sum of 9, well, I could get it doing a 6 and a 3, or a 3 and a 6. Those are separate. Or 4 and 5, 5, 4. So there's four ways to do 9. 10 is greater than 8, so that would be 6, 4, 4, 6, and then 5, 5. 11 is greater than 8, and on 11 you could have 5, 6, or 6, 5, and then 12 is greater than 8, and the only way to get 12 is 6, 6. So the total number would be 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, which would give you 10. And so the probability of getting a sum greater than 8 is 10 over 36. You always want to simplify, and that simplifies to 5, 18. So the answer to that question is 5 over 18. Okay, on the next one is, what's the probability of pulling three straight spades from a deck of cards if the card is not re replaced after each selection? Well, this is three separate events also, but we can multiply these together. Usually on the die, we can't. Usually on the cards, we can. So on this one, the probability of drawing a spade on the first is 13 out of 52, because there are 13 spades. 52 possible, but we've talked about that in class. That's just one fourth. The probability of doing it on the second the second poll, well, now there are 12 spades left over and 51 cards, so 12 out of 51. And then on the last one is just 11, right? There are 11 spades left, and you've got 50 cards left, so it's 11 out of 50. So now we'll want to simplify. 4 goes into 12 three times. 3 goes into 51, 17 times. So the probability of getting three straight spades, well, you've got 11 on the top and 850 on the bottom. And so that's the probability of getting three straight spades.